Okay, finally we have the spotlight, which as you see is putting a spot of light on the ground. And it kind of has this nice little shadowing effect to make it look natural. And the reason it's doing that is if you click on it, you'll see that it has this outer radius ring and it has this inner radius ring that is defining how the spotlight looks. So if we once again press F4 and bring up the settings, you'll see that this has a spotlight component with an outer cone angle and an outer cone angle. So we will put the inner cone angle at the same angle as the outer one. And what this does is that we no longer have that nice shadow. We have this really sharp edge that looks really unnatural. So it is highly recommended that you put your inner cone angle at a, diff at a smaller one than the outer one so it gives you that nice shadow effect and then you have your same settings and everything else. Now the other types of spotlights are the dominant spotlight which again makes it really nice don't use more than one same rules apply with the dominant spotlight spotlight which we just looked at spotlight movable which could be the headlights of a car as it's moving along and then spotlight toggle so you put the spotlight in like a street lamp and have it flickering on and off and that would be the different ways you could use a spotlight now I mentioned before light mass and how it makes um, the skylight unnecessary so we will go to light mass here and there's like indirect lighting lighting saturation shadow exponent all these kind of change the dynamics of a light to shine how much it's shining and how much it's spilling over to other surfaces and things like that that way that people can kind of control the ambient lighting with one light instead of using a skylight to control all the ambient lighting so let's go over to our point well first we will turn off Mr. Skylight all right, now that we have that done, let's go over to our point light here, and we'll bring up the settings. Um, like with the light mass here, the indirect lighting will now show that it is spilling all the way up to the top of that, and then we'll bring it back down to make it a little nicer. Same with this, saturation, changing things and the shadows will change how good the shadows look and then this changes the whole radius of the light as well see like that that yellow ring shows like the light source uh, range so that's a brief example of light mass in a quick and dirty way alright let's turn our skylight back on just to make it easier to navigate our way around here. And we have this room over here because you probably want to know how you're going to put a light in a room like this. Well, we already have a light in here, so we're going to get rid of that. Now the room is dark. There are three different ways for a person to drop a light into a scene. The first one is if you just want a spotlight just really fast just to drop it in if you hold down the L button and then left click instant spotlight uh, point light within your level so that's the that's a, the quickest and easiest way if you just want to have a point light in your level the other way is if you right click on your level and go to add actor you'll see that there's add a point light and there's add light dominant directional light you're more than likely just going to use to add the light point. So there is another point light. Finally, if we click on the funny U once again and go to actor classes, if you click on specifically one of these subtypes, the, not the bolded, but the regular ones, and then right click into your level, you'll notice above add recent, there's add spotlight here. And if you click on that, that'll add the light. So let's go to add point go back into our scene and then we will add a point light here and there it is and we can do all the adjustments that we did before by going in here so we'll make this kind of a pink light 
Uh huh. Let's make the light source radius bigger so we can see how it's lighting up more around here. And that's kind of changing how it's shining everything. And now, what if you kind of want to see how your lights are actually looking in level? Well, first you would go to build and build all. And it's going to take a little bit because lights take a little bit longer to build. So here we are waiting for it to build all of the lights that we have in the level. And you'll see that's running into light mass, like all those settings that I've changed. And we'll see them more dramatically once we drop in all the settings I changed for the light mass. All right, we'll close that. And then you right click, and then wherever you're pointing your camera from, you can play from here. And it brings up this level where we're walking around. And as you can see, all the lights. I would go around and mess with the light mass settings so it would look like it's lighting everything, but it's you can see how it's showing its shadows and still lighting everything and how it's affecting everything. All right, and finally, I'm going to go through some various um, view modes in the actual editor here so you can see what they do. So, first, we're going to go to unlit which is right here and this is just unreal like kind of lighting itself with no shadows or anything just to show you the basics of your level and everything kind of just looks terrible so that's that then there's lit mode which is what we've been working in this is probably what you're going to work in the most so you can kind of get a rough idea how your lights work next is detail lighting uh, this shows your lighting and uh, your texture bumps and how detailed they are and how the light is working with them. So if you have like a really detailed texture, like this one, it's pretty detailed. Compared to your wall, it can show how those are all interacting with one another. Next is lighting only. There's no textures in the map anymore and it just is showing your lights and how they're affecting things just within the level. Next, we have light complexity, uh, where green is good. Mm, I'm moving through the colors, yellow, orange, or red, the light calculations on that surface are more costly. Um, we'll see that more over here, where we were before. You'll see, like, the green is good. This is a little bit more costly in the engine, but that's basically how that's all working. Uh, next we have light map density and this just kind of shows the density of your levels. Let's get to a better view. Huh, it's just, <laughs> ours is obviously pretty dense because nothing is showing up. Let's go in here, and then, yeah, it's still not showing up, and it'll show you everything. You can turn on the grayscale here to change everything, uh, like that. And then we have lighting only with texel density, and this lets us see the areas of high and low texture density within that. So like this has a lot more of the little blocks on it because it's a more dense texture and these are just your regular ones so those are the different lighting modes and like I said you mostly work in lids so you can kind of see how everything's working and that's the various types of light and light mass and how you can drop them into the game and how they will work within the game thank you for watching this, and I hope it's been a big help. Have yourself a fantastic day.